Okay, so TF2 has actually had an update. June 22nd, 2021, the Summer 2021 Cosmetic Crate has come out. It has 18 new community contributed items, six new community created unusual effects, which I want to check out at some point if I can. Uh, and then there's been a bunch of other stuff going on, which looks a little bit like a another counter to the bots, which is quite cool. So it's numerous security and stability improvements. Now, I don't know if that means like... I don't know how I don't know, I don't know I don't know what it means it looks a little bit like maybe it would be a little bit better for a little bit harder for people to make but maybe not though I don't really know what that one means uh they've also put added a cooldown before a player can create a vote when they join a match already in progress which is pretty much what we've been asking for this whole time so that will stop bots from joining and kicking somebody straight away which is pretty cool um so yeah, there's a command for that if you want to turn it off in your servers. I assume that that's for. Uh, kick votes will end early and automatically pass if the vote target leaves us the match during the vote. Which I thought that's what it did anyway. But I think Valve maybe messed up or didn't do it properly the first time. So now, if a bot leaves the game after it has been kicked, then the vote will actually go through. It will actually pass and they won't be able to rejoin that game. Which is something that was a huge issue for a long time. Even though that's how I assumed the vote was meant to work but yeah turns out that hopefully won't happen anymore there's also a console command that you can use to control players changing their names so you can't do this in matchmaking it looks like again very useful for combating bots but if they're leaving and changing their names we'll, we'll have to see what happens there so they've updated the playlist in the vote kick dialogue to show the time each player has been connected to the server so again if a bot is rejoined you should be able to see that somehow i i don't really know how that one's gonna work but i guess we'll find out when we start playing uh remove the disconnect reason from the message when players leave the server because the bots were just putting links in there so you know I, that was a pretty much a given like they had to do that uh updated the man versus machine inspect command to only work for players in your party or in your friends list i don't play a lot of mvm so i don't really know too much about that i think it's so you can look at the items or their upgrades maybe that's to combat toxicity in mvm if you're buying the wrong upgrades so you can't inspect what they're doing <laughs> i guess i don't know either way it sounds it sounds okay i don't play mvm too much so i'm not too bothered about that uh move materials from the community particle files into the effects that's just a workshop thing i like looking at the workshop but i don't make anything so that probably isn't for me updated slash added some tournament medals cool Whatever, updated the localization files. I'm sure TF2 Reddit will be very happy about that one. And they've updated Snake Water. Uh, for some clipping, explosion splash, movement. Uh, reworked some problematic areas like the kitchen. Wait, so if they changed the way this map plays a little bit? I I don't know. Maybe we'll check it out at some point. Uh, upgraded CP process. And then that's just a skin for a radio tower. So it looks like a pretty decent update. There's a lot of like bot priority like you know helping to combat them again type of thing so we'll see how this works it is valve so there is a good chance that they will be able to find a way around this but this is looking pretty good so far if this is actually bigger than i'm thinking it is like i don't know how important the security and stability improvements are but if they're good then that could help uh the cooldown is definitely something we needed the kick votes that needed to be fixed as well the change in the names thing hopefully that will actually do something i don't know if it will but we'll see anyway uh the vote kick dialogue thing that sounds like it could be useful i just it's interesting to see how that would work it's almost like they're assuming that this bit wouldn't work though so yeah it's kind of weird this bit looks like it's meant to work if this bit doesn't so <laughs> i don't know if that gives me loads of confidence in people not being able to uh, join again after being kicked but we'll see the disconnect reason was definitely needed and all of the other stuff just sounds pretty cool so yeah let's have a look and see if we can look at the cosmetics now so normally they're all in here they're all in the accepted items oh they are okay cool nice <laughs> uh all right so starting here we have the snack stack which is just as a massive pile of sandwiches on the heavy he looks very happy that is a heavy pog if i have ever seen one he is so happy it's got jiggle bones and stuff oh my god this is sick and then the plate or the the paint is just the plate color which is you know that's that one's decent that one's decent i like that one a lot <laughs> that one's actually really cool <laughs> it's just like big googly eyes on the helmet okay i like that one i like that one a lot uh next up we have an unusual effect called stunning 
It is actually quite stunning. I like that one a lot. It's just like orbiting stars, which is something we've never had before. So, you know what? I like that one a lot. Oh, that's just all in like different ears. Oh, I get it. It's meant to be like a bonk thing. Oh, that's really cool. Do you know what? I like that one a lot. Looks pretty nice. Uh, the sight liner. He's, is he looking through a sentry? It looks a bit like the VR helmet that existed in the game. Or the VR headset, like the Oculus Rift that was in the game at one point. So that's cool. Oh my god, he's dude, dude is spinning. He is he is going for it there. Yeah, he can paint it all different colours. So, you know, if you wanted to see what a yellow sentry gun would look like, or at least the front of it, there you go. Or a green one. See, Valve, you could have other teams in the game. Would be nice. Be very confusing, but would be nice. Uh, the unusual effect, resonation. It looks like this one has a bunch of different colors. Uh, yeah, this picture is really good. Um, we can really see just how in depth this unusual effect is. Yeah, I like that one a lot. <laughs> okay, that one's not working for whatever reason. Uh, fast food is, oh, it's a full outfit. He's meant to just be working at a fast food place. He's got a bag with a drink, another bag with some chicken. Oh, it's attached to the same bags, chicken and chips or fries for you Americans. I guess this is more of like, that they would be fries because they are going to be an American thing, aren't they? And then he's got like the the hat and the hair and the, the shirt as well. That one's pretty cool. I like that one quite a lot. Okay. And then that's the whole thing. So the fried batter, the meal dealer. Cool. Balloony phones. So headphones with the balloonicorn thing on them. I feel like they're going to be quite popular. I feel like that's going to be quite a prop a uh, popular cosmetic. I can't speak. It's been a long day. Um, damn, they look pretty nice. I'm probably not going to wear them, but I already know that there will be quite a few people wearing them. So, you know, that one's going to be good. Uh, the crustaceous cowl. I thought we had something like this before, but the spy crab is uh, is super popular. So having a little hood that looks like the spy crab is pretty cool. Also, that reminds me, my dog actually somehow managed to get my spy crab plush and eat its face off. So <laughs> I have now just like the shell of the spy crab plush and it is kind of sad. Um, we have the two man or the two punch man KGB style. I can't read either today. This is going really well. Uh, it's just a heavy with boxing gloves attached to his head. That's kind of cool. A bit different. I wasn't quite expecting that, but you know what? Yeah, I like that one. That might be quite a funny one to see in servers. Uh, the mandatory attire. Wait, they've all got ties? Oh my god, that looks sick. What the hell? Why Why is this something that I... Wait, there's different ones? There's different collections of ties. What? So you've just got red and blue ties. You've got like cool different designs for them. And then you've got another... Uh, wow. Yo, the spies one looks sick. It's a knife. That's really cool. The, the snipers have got Jurati, a health pack. That looks like it goes with the dad duds. That one's got fire on it, explosions. God damn, these... I've never been so excited about ties before. Uh, God damn, yeah, they look cool. I like them. Uh, we have the Brim of Fire, which is... Uh, it's a bit like the um, flamingo hat the, that looks like the flamboyant flamenco or the old Guadalajara. Um... But no, if you know what the hat I'm on about, it looks a bit like that, but you can paint it and stuff and it's got fire on it. That one's really nice as well. I really like that one. Pyro always gets some pretty good summer hats, so I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, Roaming Roman. This thing looks kind of nuts. I like this one a lot. This is actually looking like a pretty decent crate so far. And it's got jiggle bone. Oh my god. The, like, the individual bits move. That's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. Um, I don't know how much you're going to notice that in game, but it's still going to be cool. We have Iridescence. Um, ooh. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Wow. That one looks dope. It was meant to come out in Halloween. <laughs> it was tagged for Halloween, but it came out in summer. So, you know, that is actually very nice. I like that one a lot. It reminds me of the Nano Leaf lights, if you've seen them. I like, <laughs> yeah, quite like those. Raspberry Bloom. Flavorsome Sunset, Raspberry Bloom. So this is like two different effects. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of a bit like Kaleidoscope. Kind of. Like different. So not like Kaleidoscope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Damn, I like those. They're pretty decent. Uh, it would be interesting to see how much or how high tier of an effect that one would be. I don't know if it would be too high. But it's definitely nice. Uh, we have the Real Fly Hat. 
It's like a whole like fisherman's outfit for the pyro. Interesting. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Actually, no, that is quite cool. Looking at it on this picture, I quite like it. The hat is pretty nice. It covers his eyes. <laughs> He's trying to be the soldier a little bit there. Um, and then the uh, and the jumper, I guess, and the dungarees or whatever they are. Yeah, not bad at all. Water waders, like wetsuit, but not really a wetsuit kind of thing. And then a hook, line, and cinder. So you've caught... Oh, so the, I didn't... I missed the fish completely. So there's a fish on his back. Please... Oh my God, it moves. Oh my God, it moves. <laughs> that thing looks so sick. Okay, nice. Nice. I like that one a lot. Uh, perennial petals. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is. it just looks like... Okay. That's not bad. It's quite simple, quite clean, but I feel like so many people are going to like this one. It's it's just nice. It's just nice. It's quite a nice clean effect. Yeah, I don't know. It, I think that would look really good on like a Hong Kong cone, honestly. I know I'm a little bit biased because I love Hong Kong cones, but that one would look pretty nice on a Hong Kong cone, especially on the map Sujin as well. It'd be perfect for it. Uh, next, we have the Fragrantium Elementalis. I messed that up guaranteed oh these were the ones we were looking at earlier weren't they no probably not i don't know so it's yellow and green purple and blue there's been a lot of purple and blue effects coming into the game recently and i don't mind that whatsoever next we have the like the red and sort of orangey yellow type thing nice and then the blue to a lighter blue almost green kind of thing uh so these two are the same effect but they're team colored and then these two are not team colored I like that. I think that I think there should be more like team colored effects. I, I want a blue version of burning flames basically is what I'm asking for. <laughs> I, I would love to see that. Is that the same as what we saw down here? No, we can't see this one in, because the thing's not working. That's really upsetting. Uh, oh, well, onto the crocodile set, I guess. The wild brim slouch and the, what was it? Crocodile dandy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that one's kind of sick. I actually kind of like these. That reminds me a little bit like the turtle helmet from Minecraft, but it's not a bad thing. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. It's a bit different. I don't know how much I would wear it or if I would replace what I currently have with it. But it's not a bad sniper hat to come into the game or a sniper like set at all to come into the game. I, I quite like that one. And then finally, we have the Punisher, which... Is a pan that has been like fully smashed onto the soldier's head. God damn, that looks like it probably hurt. Does it move? As oh, it moves as well. So it's only like loosely stuck on his head. There's been a lot more. Um, yeah, there's been a lot more items that have come into the game that have jiggle bones and stuff. And also, there's like a stout shako, too refined kind of joke there somewhere. I, I didn't, I, it's been a long time since I've seen that video, but I think that was the loadout. And obviously there's stout shakers everywhere. So yeah, that one is quite nice. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people wearing that and they're just going to be running around with pans, like pretending they're like doing that to the people. I don't really know, but this looks pretty cool. So honestly, this update as a whole, I'm quite happy with. The crates look pretty cool. The unusual effects are pretty nice. They're pretty standard for this point, but iridescence I like. I can't wait to see resonation in game. Uh, raspberry bloom is pretty nice and the petals actually pretty decent the hats as well i don't know how many of them i'm gonna really like seek out like this one probably the thousand year stare i like that one a lot so i'm probably gonna try and get it the fast food for the scout is actually pretty decent i think that one's quite funny the balloon of phones i think are gonna be the most popular the ties though i'm interested in i i'm a little bit confused it looks like it says oh there's styles and stuff so you get the tie and there's just styles for, for every class. Which is interesting. I like that. Three styles as well. You're getting a lot of cosmetic for one thing. Which is which is good. So yeah, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like. And also subscribe. The link to the workshop will be in the description. So if you want to check out any of this stuff yourself. And look through it. And like form your own opinions or whatever. The link to that is in the description. You can go ahead and do that. But yeah, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.